Hello friends, in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how we can create and configure Active Directory integrated zones. DNS zone data can be stored in and replicated with Active Directory as an Active Directory integrated zone. So you can say when you store DNS zone data into Active Directory database, that type of DNS zone is known as a Active Directory integrated DNS zone. By using Active Directory integrated zones, DNS follows a multi-master model whereas each server enables all DNS servers to have authoritative read-write copies of the DNS zone. When a change is made on a one DNS server, it is replicated to all other DNS server by using Active Directory replication service. The benefits of using Active Directory integrated zones are first is fault tolerance because each server is an authoritative read-write copy of DNS, you have the DNS information stored on a multiple servers. In addition, you can update your DNS zone record from any DNS server. Second one is a security. Zone transfers are securely replicated as a part of Active Directory. Finally, you can configure secure dynamic updates which allow records to be updated only by the client that first registered the record. The third is uh, efficient replication. Zone transfers are replicated more efficiently when using Active Directory, especially if the information has to be replicated over slow WAN links. So for this demonstration, we have a two domain controller named lab-dc01, that is our root domain controller, and lab-server01, that is our additional domain controller. And we have a two Active Directory integrated DNS zone that are by default created when we promote Windows Server 2016 as a two-main country. And that are underscore mscs.mptv.lab and mptv.lab. So let's move to our domain controller. And if you see on a DNS server manager console, here we have a two for our lookup zone and both zone are active directory integrated primary DNS zone. Now let's, uh, for testing purpose, we're going to create another for our lookup zone. So let's right click on for our lookup zone and select new zone. Click on next. Now this time I'm going to create a primary DNS zone, but we are not going to create as a Active Directory integrated zone. So let's select primary zone and remove the checkbox shows the zone in Active Directory. Then click on next. So now let's uh, specify the name of our new zone, dnszone.com for testing purpose. So let's click on next. Now this time we are creating a normal primary DNS zone. That's why we have options to create a new file to store DNS zone data. And the file name is dnszone.com.tns. Now this zone file will store under system root slash system32 DNS folder on the server. Let's click on next. Now as you can see, we do not have options to allow only secure dynamic updates because this options is only available for Active Directory integrated DNS zone. Let's click on next. And let's click on finish. This is the, our normal primary DNS zone. And we want to configure this DNS zone as the Active Directory integrated DNS zone. Now let's move to our uh, additional domain controller. And if we open DNS manager on our additional domain controller and X1 for lookup zone, right now we have only two for lookup zones are there. And that is underscore msscs.mptv.lab and mptv.lab. So we want to configure dnszone.com as a Active Directory integrated DNS zone because we want read-write copy of this zone on our additional domain controller as well. So let's configure this zone as a Active Directory integrated zone. So select your DNS zone, right click on it and select properties. DNS zone file name is uh, dnszone.com.tns. Now here dynamic update is not enabled. So first of all, I'm going to change the zone type. Now, right now, the zone type is primary. So let's click on change to change the zone type. Now I'm going to select the last box, store the zone in Active Directory, only available if DNS server is a two main controller. Let's click on OK. Now it will give you one warning message. Do you want to this zone to become Active Directory integrated? Click on yes. Once we select Active Directory integrated zone type, that time we have another options for replication scope. And that is all DNS server in this domain that is selected. 
Let's click on change. Now here we can see we have a total three options and one gray out options. In the later videos, we will see what is this directive partition options. Now right now, the selected options is to all DNS servers running on a domain controller in this domain name mbrtv.lab. And if you select these options, that time the zone data will be replicated to all domain controllers in your forest mpitv.lab but for this demonstration we are going to select the second one so that, that means this dns zone data will be replicated to our all dns server that means this zone data will be available on our additional domain controller as well let's click on ok and this time we can select dynamic updates so let's select secure only click on apply click on ok and if we click on uh, for a lookup zone and click on refresh we can see we have a total three active directory integrated primary dns zone now let's move to our additional domain controller right now we have uh, only two active directory integrated zone now if we refresh we can see only two active directory integrated dns zones are there so let's use active directory site and services to replicate the data between our two domain controller right now Let's select laptop is row one, select all tasks, check replication topology, click on OK, click on refresh, select the automatic generated link and replicate now. Okay, do the same for lab hyper server zero one link. Okay, let's again move to our DNS manager console. Let's click on lab server zero one and hit on refresh button. Now again expand photo group zone. Right now we do not have uh, the DNS zone dot com zone available here. Let's restart the DNS service once. Okay, now let's click on refresh button again and expand photo lookup zone. This time we can see we have a total three DNS zone and all are active directory integrated. Now this time we can add new record to this DNS zone. We can also delete the existing DNS record if you have any. So in this previous video, when we create a secondary DNS zone, that time we are not able to modify DNS zone data on a other server than a primary DNS. But in Active Directory integrated zone type of zone, you can modify the DNS zone data from any DNS server and that will be replicated to all DNS server automatically. So in this way, we can create and uh, configure the replication scope for Active Directory integrated zone. So that's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.